everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to talk about my favorite inventions from Dr. Stone Season 2. Season 2 brought a lot of unpredictability with it, if that's even a word, unpredictability. But most of the inventions that Senku came up with were stuff that I had, there was no way I could have possibly seen any of them coming. And with season one, a lot of it was stuff he kind of alluded to. Like, he would pretty much present the problem like, you know, how do we do this? And then it's like, you kind of knew what he was inventing along the way while he was doing it. With season two, there was no way I could have predicted some of the crazy stuff that Senku came up with. The first one that comes to my mind is from the most recent episode that I saw, and that was the stun gun. What in the world was that? Like, how did he not just, like, what? Like, I, when I first saw this, I, I was like, okay, th there's so many things that just flooded my mind, and one of them actually was, I wonder how he didn't come up with this before. Because what an effective weapon this would have been. Like, imagine if you gave all these villagers just their own little battery packs, and you just had little, little two little exposed wires, like, I don't know, at their knuckles, so they had, like, some form of, like, brass knuckles like that. So all you had to do was, like, touch or just hit somebody, and that's it. They are out of the game. Like, you don't have to actually, like, kill anyone, right? So that does fulfill the rules of the Stone Wars that Senku set with, um, Okio. It's like, no one will die. We'll just, you, you know, set the weapons to stun, and you'll be fine. So I was like, I wonder why that wasn't kind of the first thought. Even so, when Senku actually used it for the first time, I couldn't believe it. I was very excited, and I was like, this is... One of the coolest Dr. Stone inventions ever. <laughs> Following that trend of being unpredictable is this liquid that I had to actually research because I really couldn't recall much information about it. It's not something that you would come across in electrical engineering, which is like my, my main form in my profession. I had to really look back in like the the deep like chemistry memories I had. And I had to look up some of the like the stuff that this went into. But nitroglycerin, this was a this was wow. Like how many people can you go to and say, yeah, just if you didn't know, there's a liquid that explodes, right? Because normally when you think of explosions, you think of like dynamite or it's like solids just going boom but not this this is a liquid that takes two or three drops and you put enough pressure on it and the whole thing just goes to hell i i can't recall like where i first heard about it or why this even crossed my mind but with the significance of nitroglycerin it wasn't just an invention that senku came up with but it was also a turning point in the stone wars he was able to pretty much neutralize every threat Right? With just those paper airplanes. And after that, it was, okay, let's negotiate. Otherwise, you know, mutually assured destruction here. What's more impressive is that Senku was able to come up with that on the spot. It's one thing to invent something in like a village when you have people who are there to care for you and help you and you have a workforce, right? Like, there's a lot more time you have to invent these things. When you're in the middle of a fight, like life or death situation, and somebody's coming at you with a spear, and for you to come up with this is, like, it's pretty incredible. Not just to have all that in the moment, but under pressure of death. That's, I mean, it's still hard for me to believe that he was able to come up with that. Like, granted, he had the idea of getting it before actually going into the battlefield, but this was still, like, this must have been really difficult to execute because, God, like, can you imagine if something went wrong while he had that nitroglycerin in the cave? Like, it's a really, really sensitive liquid that likes to explode. It's... It's kind of a miracle in the miracle cave that nothing worse happened. The last and the least exciting that I found these inventions to be was the steam engine. Not that the significance was not as much, but compared to the nitroglycerin that kind of t turned the entire war, as well as the stun gun that really ended everything, I think that the steam engine was just, it's not as comparable. 
Like, that led to the Steam Gorilla, and then the Tank, and then a lot of the other stuff that Senku used and just improvised with. But even with the final edition of the Steam Engine, meaning like that um, like carbon fiber tank that he built, he rode it into a, like, just hole in the ground. So it was a bit anticlimactic with what he actually came up with. I mean, there was, like, that thing that he launched out of it that was, like, like, like the, the Hollywood, like, missile or whatever he called it. And that was cool, but I just don't think that it had the same, like, gravitas or the same kind of, like, impact that will impact as nitroglycerin or the stun gun did. It doesn't diminish the importance of the invention, but the steam engine itself, of like what it led to, wasn't as significant as the other two inventions that I mentioned already. That is the simplest and most straightforward direct explanation of a wobbler engine I've ever seen in my entire life. And I've never even heard it called a wobbler engine before. I've heard it called an um, a oscillating steam engine before. But like, I, I'm not going to be able to top that, but I'll, I'll add some technical terms to what Senku was talking about to maybe help you guys better understand how this thing works. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And when there's more Dr. Stone, I will continue to make these. I think that this is the coolest anime ever. I have a lot of fun with it. It's really, really interesting to watch this, just like, not just as an engineer, but just as like a regular person just watching regular anime. I really, really like it. I mean, there hasn't been a point in the story that I felt bored. There's always something to do, and there's always some conflict to be resolved. There's always something that's, like, pushing the character forward. Like, one thing I have noticed is, like, there's not a lot of character development. I guess, like, now that I just said that, like, Senku hasn't changed. Like, he's the same person, season one, and season two, and all the episodes. Like, it, what we're noticing is a progression of the materials and the inventions, but the actual characters themselves are not changing much. There were a few of them, like uh, Kinro and Ginro, they kind of changed their outlook on certain things, like a little less loose on the rules, but Senku is kind of the same person, and he's the main guy, right? And like, it's kind of like, imagine if you're watching Dragon Ball Z, and like, Goku doesn't really change a lot, right? Like, he grows himself, he gets a lot more transformations, there's like Super Saiyan, like 1, 2, 3, Red, Blue, God, and Ultra Instinct, and there's a lot of things that he develops, but his personality doesn't change a whole lot. Like, it truly doesn't. Like, it changes with his transformations, but who he is in like a regular, just everyday life is not the same. And I, I, I kind of find a lot of similarities between that and Dr. Stone, versus if you're watching Naruto, for example, like, he changes a lot. Like, Naruto's progression as a character is really, really intense. I want to see them succeed. I feel invested in these characters enough to care about what happens to them, and I really want to know where Senku takes these guys on the ship, and what they discover, what they find, the new obstacles they have to overcome. I can't wait for more Dr. Stone to come out so I can keep watching it, and so I can keep making more of these videos for you guys to enjoy. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay fresh, and stay golden.